Okay guys, here we are. It's been a month now. It's all back together. I should note that uh, you should be putting extra oil in your sled, uh, in your gas. Um, uh, our injector system is working just fine, but you want that extra bit of lubrication during the break-in, which is usually two to 300 miles. Uh, which we hit the uh, 300 mile mark this weekend, it's about 500 kilometers. And uh, the sled's been running good. It's been running better than ever, besides the fact that we got no reverse. So we've been kind of tinkering with it every weekend and uh, we trace the wiring right from, see this is our uh, exhaust removal tool that we ended up making. Um, <clears throat> Anyway, we traced the wiring from the switch, which we changed out just to make sure that wasn't it. And we followed it down in the wiring harness and we'll remove all that. And we ended up, if you look at the wiring harness, you come across it. This is an 05 550 uh, Summit. Um, in the wiring harness itself, just to the right of the injector, it's around here. There is a 39,000 ohm resistor and parallel to that there's a 47 nanofarad capacitor. Everything's working good up to there and after that it plugs into this box which the reverse magneto and the forward magneto are plugged into. When we pulled this apart it was sealed in heat shrink, it, it, now it's built in line, it's a brown wire, not to be confused with the brown wire with the black stripe. Um, the brown wire has a piece about four inches long sealed in heat shrink that has that resistor and the capacitor in it. Now we took a little bit of fine work with the knife but we peeled it off uh, only to find out now we don't know if it was us from excess pulling, but the wire was broken off of the capacitor. Now it separated, we looked and there was some green corrosion just like you see it on a battery. So it might have failed from us disturbing the wiring during the rebuild. So we're I tested the resistor, it's a quarter watt resistor for 39,000 ohms and that tests fine. I tried soldering the resistor back, or the capacitor back together. It's not that, like it wouldn't take. So uh, luckily I had some on hand from some other electronics projects. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that 47 uh, nanofarad with uh, it's a 50 volt capacitor and uh, it's probably a 30 cent part that you see online so we're going to change that and hopefully we got a reverse after this <laughs> 